Hi, this is Darren Lyle. Well, we've come a long way. We've modeled a character. We've UV mapped him. We've done a little uh, texture painting. And now we're ready to rig him so we can animate him. But before we do, there are a few housekeeping chores that we need to take care of. One of the things I've done here is made sure that the character is all one object. Um, you can bind multiple objects to an armature, to a rig, but just for simplicity's sake, I thought I'd have him be all one, all one object. So I've taken all the objects and selected them and pressed Control J to join everything into one object. Another thing I need to take care of is making sure that he's um, standing on the ground plane. So if I go to the side view here, you can see that he's not quite standing on the ground. When we create the foot controls, it's going to be good to know that when the foot controls are zeroed out in the z-axis, that his feet are planted firmly on the ground. So I need to move him down some. Now, I haven't made the eyes uh, part of this object. The eyes are still their own object. So I'm going to need to select not only the character, but select the eyes, the inner and the outer part of the eyes as well. And I'm going to move this down so he's standing right on the grid. So let's see how that worked. OK. So now, once I've done that, I've got to reapply the transformations because notice how the center, the origin of the object now is below the ground plane. We need to have that origin of the character right in the center of the grid. That's going to be important for several reasons that we'll see as we go along. So to do that, I'm going to select the character here and press the N key to open up the properties panel. And you'll see here that there is um, a value in the transformation Z. Uh, we need to make sure that all of these transforms, the location and rotation, are zero and that all the scale is ones. So to do that, I'm going to just select my character and press Control A, and I'm going to apply the transformations for location. And when I do that, you can see it's zero to everything out here. And I can press Control A again and apply it for rotation and scale if your rotation and scale has values in it as well. So now that those have been applied, the origin of the character is back to the center of the grid here. So if it isn't for some reason, make sure that your cursor is in the center of the grid by pressing Shift S and select Cursor to Center. And then come over here to the Set Origin menu and select Origin to 3D Cursor. And that will ensure that that origin point is right in the center of the grid. And for the eyes, I think I'd like the origin of the object to be in the center of the eye because we're going to ultimately assign um, an aim constraint to these so that we can control the eyes independently. So I've applied their transformations here, but now I'm going to set the origin to the geometry of the object. So I'm going to select, say, the left eye here and set the origin to geometry. The next thing I'd like to do is to see if there are any doubled up vertices in the character. Um, this can prevent the character mesh from binding to the armature rig when, when we get to that point. Um, so what I want to do is select the character here and go to edit mode and I'm just going to select all the vertices and then I'm going to press control V and right down here there is a menu item called remove doubles and that will take or that will merge together or remove any overlapping vertices so I'm going to click that 
and up here it says removed 104 vertices. That's good. That helps clean up the mesh so when binding it to a rig, Blender doesn't get confused and give us an error. All right, the last thing I think I'll do is just take my subdivision levels down a notch from two in the viewport down to one. All right, so I think we've covered all the housekeeping chores. Let's start rigging the character. So let's go ahead and create our first bone of the armature. Let's make sure that the cursor is in the center of the grid here. And I'm gonna go to the Create tab. And I'll create an armature. And there it is. I'm gonna zoom in here. There it is right there in the center of the grid. Now, if I moved this object in object mode, it would move the origin of the object. So what I'm gonna do is move this around and create the rig of the character in edit mode. So hit the tab key to, to go to edit mode and select the object. And now I'm gonna move it up into the character. And of course, I can't see it. Um, so what we need to do is come over here to the object display and click on x-ray and now we can see it within the object here all right so let's begin placing the bones so i'm still in edit mode here and i'm going to move this over go to front view i'm just trying to place it so i'm going to put it right about there so the tip of the bone here is aligned with the belt so that'll be his um his waist and i'll move it in the side view to about there all right so we've got our um bone here just to keep things clean and i highly suggest you do this as you go label everything so i'm going to call this root that's going to be the root bone of the hierarchy uh, i'm going to select this top tip of the bone and I'm going to extrude to create a new bone. So I'll hit the E key and pull up and this will be the bone for the first spine bone. And I'm going to keep it pretty simple here um, and only create two bones for the torso. I'm going to hit E again and bring up this bone to about where the shoulder would be. And you can always go back and click on one of these joints and move them around a bit. So there's um, spine one and spine two, we will call them. I'll move this to right about here. And I'm going to hit E and bring this up for the, for the neck. Maybe move that down a bit. And then press E again and bring that up for the head bone. And there is our the beginning of the rig. Now I'm going to go back and um, name these bones here. So for this one here, I'm going to call it spine one and spine two, neck, and I'll call this one head. So while I'm still in edit mode, I'm going to deselect everything and I'm still in edit mode here, I can create a whole new bone that isn't connected to anything by pressing shift A. And that will create a whole new bone here. The tip is selected, so I'll select the whole bone by clicking here. And then I'm going to move this up and into place for the uh, clavicle. And the base of that clavicle will probably be right about here. And I'll select that tip and move it over. So it's kind of where the clavicle might be. And maybe move this back a bit. Now let's do that again. I'm going to deselect everything, press Shift A to create a bone, and move it up to begin the arm bones. Let me move it into place here. 
So the base of this will probably be somewhere around here, maybe. And then from the front view, I'm going to bring it down. And then from the top view, move it into place. Now, when you're creating a joint chain for an arm or a, a leg or something, you should always probably have a little bit of a bend in the arm or the leg. And then I'll extrude this out for the hand bone here. Let's take a look in the front view. That doesn't look too bad. I think I want to move this around a bit. All right, so let's name these bones. This is going to be what well, I'll call this up arm dot L for the upper arm on the left side. This can be low arm dot L and the hand dot L. So I'm going to press shift A again to create a bone and I'm going to move this up into place again from the front view. And I'll rotate this so it's pointing down. And let's look at it from the side view. And this should probably come back right here. So that top joint here is at the point where the hip would be. And let's place this around where the knee is. Now one thing we can do here, if we want to place these joints at where the edges would be that are actually going to do the bending, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to object mode and select my character here. And over in the object data panel here, we can turn on wire. And that will allow us to see the wireframe over it in object mode. So I'll go back to the armature and go back into edit mode. And now I can kind of see where I should place along this edge here. And once again I want a bend and I'll put it right about there. So there's a bend at the knee. And then I'll extrude again, bring this down to where the ankle should be. Extrude again, bring this down to about where the ball of the toe would be, where the foot would bend. And then extrude and hit Y to bring that straight out in the Y axis. About like that. All right, so let's take a look at this from the front view. Doesn't look too bad. I think what I'd like to do is move this foot over just a bit so it's more in the center of the foot. And maybe then move the knee over just a hair. Something like that. Okay, and let's name these. So this will be the up leg dot L. The lower leg. foot and toe. All right, well in the next video we'll work on creating the bones for the fingers and maybe we can get to mirroring the arm and the leg chains over to the other side. So thanks for watching. See you then.